Before we get started, we'd like to send us a very special thank you to Mayor Joe Lombardo, Clifton Heights Borough, for all the hard work they've also, all the help they've put in. This man has given so much time to his organization, and he just passed away in July. And I just want to tell my pal friends to never forget Bob Wassel. He did many years, he was my neighbor, and he'll never be forgotten. And I just want you guys, don't forget the name. Don't forget that name, the guys that they've given so many years, he passed it away, passed it along, and it's like, you don't forget the name, bring it up, always have something for him, in memory of him, his family. Well, welcome everyone. We're here today to honor a man that literally was everything to Clifton Heights Pal for over 45 years. Bob Wassel started his journey with the Pal in 1971, and he held every position you could possibly hold over those years. Baseball coach, girl softball coach, basketball, treasurer, vice president, and of course, president. <coughs> all those titles didn't even scratch the surface of all the things he did behind the scenes for all those years. He was the number one catalyst for this organization and the driving force that helped Clif to make Clifton Pal everything that we are today. He truly bled orange and black. We cannot let this day go without also thanking Bob's wife, Marie, as well. She was just as dedicated to this organization and although Ms. Mr. Wassel's name is on the plaque, this honor truly belongs to both of them. Give Maria a big round of applause, everybody. Yeah. Both myself and all of my fellow board members strive every day to run this organization with class, dedication, and the love that he did. We all know that he would never be happy with us giving him all this attention today. But no one deserved this honor more that he did, and I'm positive that he's looking down today with a lot of pride. He loved all the kids that played PAL sports, but the girls' softball program and this field always held a very special place in his heart. And it's appropriate that his name will forever be memorialized on our school board, and this field will officially be named in his honor. So ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you for the first time to the Robert A. Wassel Memorial Field. Yay. So at this time, I'd like for Mrs. Wassel and the children, if you'd like to come up and cut the ribbon. And then cut the ribbon, we can officially rename, this is no longer gonna be known as the Newfield or Glenwood from this point on, so. On the count of three, you wanna cut the, you can cut the ribbon, Mrs. Wassel. One, two, three. Uh, thank you guys very, very much. We appreciate it. Nobody deserved this honor more than, than he did, and we're glad you're all here. All that matters. <laughs> Listen, this time, we're going to make our way down to the field. The girls are going to get ready to play. We're going to have some ceremonial first pitches. Uh, I know Mrs. Wasson was in the pen last night warming up. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.